Hello and welcome to Dungeon Design 101. I am your host T the Writer and today we're going to be talking about taverns. Now taverns as far as D&D &D and Pathfinder and stuff like that go tend to be some of the most overlooked places in the entire game and I started to think about you know why is that why does it matter the least and I thought about it and I thought well taverns for most people are the jumping off point they're you know you start in a tavern and then you are hired by this person to do X adventure you know XYZ and then you leave and you pay the tavern no mind other than a meeting spot or you know when you're traveling the road a stopping spot because the tavern also has an inn so you can get a room or you can flirt with barmaids etc etc and it it becomes an afterthought there's nothing to it and having worked in gosh an embarrassing number of restaurants myself I can tell you there is a culture there is a lot of interesting stuff that goes on in places like taverns especially ones with bars or ones that feed you that there's plenty going on you just have to stop and look for it or in this case you have to stop and detail it because one of the best things you can do to have players take interest in a place is to give them a map of it so if you say oh you stop at the tavern what do you do and that's all there is to it they're not gonna think that there's much of an investment in it on your part so they're not going to invest anything with it and well yeah a tavern may not be important to your big world saving adventure or whatever it happens to be it can be a source for social interaction hearing rumors you know mini games meeting new people starting romances just any number of things because you know places where people go to socialize are some of the most interesting locations in the world and I guess to start off you might want to go with an interesting name now the best way to name a tavern is to go the adjective noun route whether it be you know the contented cow the the laughing dragon the purple pig the the impatient farmer you know whatever it happens to be there's there's probably websites and stuff that would generate tavern names my favorite is the laughing dragon just because I think it sounds cool you know in Lord of the Rings there was the prancing pony you know the the adjective noun or the or the uh, the verb noun is the best way to name a tavern and you know that could pertain to any number of things the what was it the bouncing bunny in one of my taverns was referring to the bartender who was a halfling so in order to see over the bar at all times he would have to hop from stool to stool in order to see all of his customers and the barmaids thought this was adorable so they nicknamed him the bounding bunny or the bouncing bunny now one thing that tends to happen in taverns as far as design goes is that they're far too large uh, you have to realize if you're going to build a realistic location that these places don't build for space they build for a uh, customer capacity and you know seeing to all the little the little comforts that this place has that is expected of it so there's plenty of chairs there's plenty of tables there's not a lot of like running around space you might have to squeeze between people if if there's a ton of customers you'll notice in the bottom right corner there's a there's a stage for a gleeman or a bard so he can stand up there and everybody can see him um, just in terms of setup you have to realize you know these people built this place to attract customers to attract a lot of customers to you know to fit as many as as many of them as they can in there you know if this is the only watering hole that's worth a damn in in town or in the city or whatever they want as many people as they can get in there that are gonna spend money you know they'll hire an entertainer they've got a kitchen off to one side you'll see there you know what's in the cauldron what are they serving today you know it's not a restaurant so you know they might say oh today's food is you know potato soup with extra salt and you know you can have that or you can have beer and that's all they have because they're just a tavern they're not a restaurant or an inn or anything but you know should people want that they've got a big a big heaping load of whatever it happens to be and it's hot and it's good for you so people order it on their way in drink and leave or drink and hang out or whatever it happens to be a lot of interesting stuff goes on and you'll notice there are two chests on this map 
uh, the one under the bar there is the uh, the lockbox, which I imagine you've had a few party rogues look for in if you've ever had any adventures in a tavern. Um, is where you know I I order you know I order the strongest ale they have. Oh, it's a silver piece, and then they stick the silver piece under the bar. Well, there there could be a lockbox, you know, bolted to the floor from the inside, or a a, a small chest with a little like piggy bank slot in it so they could just drop the coin in there and then the owner later on can open it and empty it you know the rogue is always looking for that just to try and see if he can get away with it but a bar uh, a tavern tends to be busy enough that it would be next to impossible because there's usually somebody behind the bar and if he's paying a lick of attention he's gonna notice somebody you know within 10 or 15 feet of him you know leaping over the bar and looking for stuff and there can be barrels of ale, there can be, you know, kegs hanging from chains up against the wall. Um, you'll notice there's a door that leads to stairs downstairs. That could be where they keep extra kegs or wine for special occasions, extra food, whatever it happens to be. Just remember it's, it's a location. There are people, there are uh, goings-ons. There could be, if you want to go the cliche route, there could be a job board. You know, I need you know somebody to weed my garden i need somebody to go kill the wolves that are that keep picking off my sheep i need you know x y and z could be a good way to make money maybe not a ton of money but if you were going to run like a a level 1 adventure to like acquaint somebody with how d and d or pathfinder works a tavern is a great place to start because you know there's social interaction there's food there's people there's you know, easy jobs that you can grab. There's, you know, the one guy sitting in the corner in the shadows watching everybody. He looks kind of suspicious, so should you go talk to him or should you run him out of town? There's a lot of potential in areas like this where people gather. Um, and of course, there's always other things that people wonder about, like, can I seduce the barmaid? Is, you know, and the one rule I usually have is don't try to seduce the bartender because she's there to flirt and help you spend your money so that often doesn't work out for my players and just in terms of staff um, as as far as my real life experiences in restaurants go I've been in restaurants with 14 tables and I've been in restaurants with 40 tables you know I've seen a wide range there's usually um, one person working in a restaurant for every five or six customers so you'll notice how many chairs have we got six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty twenty two twenty twenty five chairs so we'd have five or six people running the place you know one person behind the bar one person cooking maybe one person on the stage entertaining you know, and a couple of people running ale and, and cleaning tables and taking money and taking orders, running back and forth. You know, it's it doesn't have to be a ton of people, but the the good ratio is usually one per five or six customers. And yes, if you're going to go with the cute barmaid thing, don't be afraid, especially if if you've got girls at the table for, for your for your game or you know, you've got two boys and two girls playing. If you're gonna have sexy barmaids, have sexy bartenders. You know, at least try to be fair about it. Now, as far as what else can go on in a tavern, I've, it would be kind of an interesting campaign, actually, to run a tavern, you know, because you, you could, like, fight, break up bar fights, make sure your customers are happy, make money, expand the tavern itself. That'd actually make a kind of an interesting adventure if you were going to do, like, a not really a business simulation, but it'd be interesting like a not it doesn't have to be a castle it doesn't have to be a tower or like a tower defense style campaign you could just be running a tavern and try to make the best tavern ever that'd be kind of interesting actually um so just think about it in terms of things and there's plenty of of uh what is it potential for mini games too like if if somebody wants to go play cards you know give them 5d6 and see who can roll the highest or if they want to arm wrestle a guy and bet him 10 gold you know let him do his strength check and try and get this guy or um, 
get into a debate with a fellow scholar while you're extra, extra drunk, or get into a drinking contest. Hell, that's that's just straight up fortitude saves, you know, and it would just get harder every round. There is plenty to do to just kind of spice this up, especially if you've got, um, you've always got that one person in your D&D or Pathfinder group that's always like 20 minutes late for no damn good reason. A tavern is a great place just be like, okay, I want to start playing now, so here's the tavern. You guys are hanging out here waiting for your friend to finish doing his shopping or whatever. And so, you know, give them, you know, cards. Give them drinking games. Give them, you know, good food, good gossip. You know, give them stuff to do in the tavern so it feels like a real place. And they'll like you more for the immersion, for the the effort that you put forth. And even if all of your taverns are the same, like say you went three towns over and you use this exact same map, you're like, wow, this looks a lot like the Laughing Dragon. You're like, well, it's a tavern, so you know, you've got a space to put your put your minis on or your markers or whatever it happens to be, so you can understand where you are and how many people are there and all that good stuff. So you could just describe different uh decorations or whatever it happens to be and have a vaguely similar setup because this is a good setup the bartender can see pretty much everything you know the stage is in a corner out of the way the kitchen is small but usable and they've got you know a downstairs to keep all their stuff this is all a tavern really needs to be there could be an upstairs for the owner to sleep if he sleeps at his place of business or it could have an upper floor with uh, rooms for customers it could be an inn and tavern just um even if you got like a piece of cardboard and made a map on it and anytime your adventurers went to a tavern you could just put down the piece of cardboard and say okay here's the here's the tavern and they'll think that's interesting that you actually set aside the time to make the tavern and you know roll roll a couple of d6 see how many customers are there roll you know if you want to set up you know five employees you know there's you know all humans and one halfling girl and she's extra nice or the bartender is an orc or you know just something it doesn't have to be along racial lines but something interesting that makes it stand out you know why are three of the four windows shattered what happened you know why is your door laying on the floor instead of up on its hinges you could add like an extra two or three things why is the you know the chandelier is made of elk antlers that's kind of cool and it's got like 10 or 12 candles on it just don't sit directly under it because it'll drip on you pick like four or five things to add to your tavern to make it a memorable experience and your to make it a memorable experience and your players will love you for it especially if you're waiting for that person who's late give them like mini games where they can win gold or like you know 17 experience points for winning arm wrestling or you know if you actually manage to get into the bartender's pants then hey good on you roll a d20 you get that many xps whatever it happens to be just make it a good and memorable experience so that a tavern is just not a meeting place or a place that you know you meet the person that's hiring you you agree to x amount of gold and then you leave you know it's a location it's a business it should have flavor it should you know smell like ale or smell like the potato soup they're cooking it should be loud and rowdy on on festival nights it should have a personality and if you remember that it'll make your game all the better so i will see you guys next time have a good one